doing a collective and random haul of like all the different things I got throughout the past month. So I thought that I would share it with you guys. Um, so the first few things I got are like totally obsessive things that I have to get during the cold season. It's probably my uh, most favorite thing to wear um, or things to wear during the winter time. I'm going to let you guys guess what it is. It starts with the letter B. It's four letters <laughs> that make up the word. Can you guess what it is? Boots. The first pair I got were these boots. I actually put them on Twitter, like a picture of them, saying I purchased them. I got them at Oat Look. Oat. Oat. Oat Look. Oat. <laughs> I remember the first time I did the video about Oat Look, everyone was telling me how wrong I was pronouncing it, so thought I'd look it up and be sure this time. Back to the boots. So the way Oat Look works, up, it's basically brand name things, luxury things that are on sale. I've seen like Chanel, Louboutins there and stuff like that, um, Versace. I've seen like a lot of huge brand names on sale. I mean, obviously you can't just go on there whenever you want and purchase it. It's um, based on events and the events last a certain amount of time so that's how it works and usually you can see the schedule of like um, you know like the days that are coming up and then the sale usually starts at 8 Pacific time but I'm on central time so it's 10 o'clock for me anyways um, I got these boots they are very very nice I can't pronounce the brand it's like pillar Abril, Pilla Abril or something like that. I'm I'm sorry, like I'm just terrible at pronouncing brands and their names and stuff. But I love the military um, lace up kind of look for these boots. It has a buckle. The thing is that the top of these boots are very loose on my my um, calves, and I'm kind of iffy about that. I'm not sure if like I can like get it fixed somehow at like a shoe store. Um, to make it fit my calves a little better, but it does go out like a lot So it's kind of loose up here and it makes me look kind of strange But I really like the bottom so I've been debating on what I should do with that And then the second pair of boots I got I know I'm obsessive like extremely obsessive <laughs> the second pair of boots I got were actually the opposite of what was wrong with the first pair of boots because I love these, they're just like a dark brown color, but the thing is that the top part is way too small. Like, you see this? How different in um, wideness they are at, top, at the top. So the thing with these was that I don't think I have like that large of calves. And I had a very, very difficult time putting these on. The first time I wore them, I just tried to slip it in with um, wearing jeans and holy macaroni <laughs> these were so tight I was sitting there you know on the ground trying to like pull it in and it was it was a nightmare so what I actually did we'll see these are like the front of the shoes and this part would be the inner um, part so it wouldn't be exposed if you're wearing your boots so I decided to make a slit and I fit it perfectly now that I made the slit, but it sucks that I had to make a slit on like a really nice pair of boots in order to make them fit me. Um, but nonetheless, I really love them and I think they're perfect for like fall and winter and I just love wearing riding boots, equestrian boots during this time of year. And the third pair of boots, I have not worn them yet, I just got in the mail yesterday. They're by Fergie, and when I saw this event on Outlook, I was kind of iffy about it, because, I don't know, like, Fergie, designing clothing, a lot of movie stars tend to do that, and I don't know, a lot of times I don't really like the style of it at all, but I decided to give the event a look and, like, browse through all the shoes, and I found something! <laughs> So here they are. They are different from most of the boots that I have because they have a heel. And this heel is very chunky, you know, 
it's like the kind of boot where you'll have some height but it'll be comfortable too I haven't worn it so I don't know how comfortable it is um, and it has like stuffing and stuff so let me take the stuffing out Ta-da! I think they're absolutely adorable and these might be my favorite from all three because I don't know this part doesn't look like it's as wide as the other shoe so it might fit my calves a little better I love the heel because I'm very petite I'm 5'1 ish a little bit to the 5'2 level but not quite yet so I'm so excited to try these on that was my shoe splurge that I got on Outlook and it's my utmost favorite um, discount site so far I mean I also like other sites like Rue La La ideally um, Guilt Group but I don't know like I feel like Outlook I like the layout of it the most and like the way they sell, sell stuff and like the variety they have is probably my favorite out of the four sites that I know about I'll link them all below um, the cool thing about them is that if you invite friends you actually get money from it and you get like 10 bucks or so so if you invite like 10 friends you'll get like a hundred bucks so it's really cool um, you guys definitely should check it out if you don't know about it like my friend Nancy um, I didn't tell her about it. I have no idea how she knew about it. I think it might be from work or something because she's a designer so she knows this stuff and didn't tell me about it but um, she is also very obsessed with it because it's seriously like an online Marshalls or TJ Maxx you know where you can just buy like really good quality designer brand names that are not even like touched by other people because obviously it's like in their warehouse so that's even better than like Marshalls or TJ Maxx or you know any of those like outlets because you know the, that stuff has been touched by a lot of hands but this is like from the warehouse so that's one of the things that I love about it they have getaways they have like bedding stuff they have shoes cosmetics just depends on the day and like when the event comes out but yeah I absolutely love it um, there's no fee to join or anything it's just like one of those things where you just join and you can see like you know the sales and stuff so and the shipping is usually well I think it depends on how big like the stuff you're getting is, is if you get like a couch obviously the shipping is not gonna be like ten dollars but usually the shipping is around I would say like seven dollars the cheapest that I've seen alright so then um, another thing that I got recently are I got these awesome sconces I think that's what they're called you hang them you know on the wall they're kind of like medieval-y looking with like little jewels on them and you can put a candle in it and light it up or they also have those like battery operated candles that are fake that also lit like lights up and yeah I'm planning to put this um, on like because I have two of them my jewel just fell out but this one has a little thing too I don't have it in here with me anyways you can just like put it on the side of your bed and I think it's lovely lovely and pretty and I'm so glad I got it. I got it at Amazon a couple weeks ago. Alright, so another thing that I got is a camera! I'm so excited about it because the last camera I got was um, actually from my parents as like a Christmas present like years ago. It was when I was in college, like when I was a freshman in college. So that was like five years ago, my last digital camera and it's dying. Literally, like sometimes when I would try to videotape stuff, it would have this like crazy shaking in it. I don't know if, if there's something wrong inside of it, but it would just have this like crazy vibration and you would see it in the footage. Um, sometimes it happens when I'm like trying to take pictures too, so it's terrible. During Cyber Monday, um, I think I posted a tweet asking, you know, like, you know, has anyone, does anyone know of any deals? And like, um, what's her name? LaBelle Mel. I'm not too sure, I'll put it here. I'm like so bad with like YouTube names, but she gave me a site and I saw deals from everywhere that were like, you know, like cheap. And I saw one on Amazon for this little camera and it's so adorable. I don't know, I don't have batteries for it yet. I've gotta charge them. So I can't turn it on and show it to you guys. I haven't even used it, but it's so tiny. Like I have small hands, but this thing is like tiny, like. I really like it. Um, I think, you know what, Carly has one like this because I remember 
during Halloween she bought a new camera so she said it was cheap too and this one I got it for $120 um, shipping was free and came in like a little box it's brand new so I'm excited about it um, can't wait to try it out hopefully it's good quality it's Canon so it's like a nice little digital camera that I can just pop in my purse and use whenever I need to good news I graduated <laughs> Well, okay, I didn't walk on stage, but I my last class, the final was on Monday, and I took it, and I'm done with school, so I'm extremely happy, but a part of me is kind of bored because I'm just, like, at home doing nothing. I'm so not used to not being stressed out because for the past, like, 23 years of my life, I have been going to school, so I am just so happy that I graduated, but, I mean... I'll go on vacation and have fun, but I'm just going to have to get back into like, you know, going to grad school, um, take my GRE and stuff. So it'll be stressful, but for now I'm just extremely happy that I'm done with my undergrad. I worked so hard for it and I'm going to be able to walk down stage um, during the springtime because my university only provides like like a spring graduation so I'm gonna have to wait that long to wear the gown and walk down stage um, any other news that I want to tell you guys oh and you know what I'm thinking of dyeing my hair um, like darker because this dye is a little bit too light for me so I'm thinking about it but we'll see what I do um, I actually found an organic hair dye product and if it works out really good then I'll definitely make a video on it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my haul and some random stuff that I included. Um, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!